Hi, good morning students. Hope you are fine. In the previous class, we have discussed about the geography third chapter, motions of the earth. We already studied the rotation and revolution. Today, we are going to the continuation of that chapter. In this part, uh, we have two topics. That is equinox and solitis. And what is equinox and what is solitis? Okay, yes. The time or date at which the sun crosses the celestial uh, that uh, equator. When day and night are equal. That is equinox. Equinox means day and night are 12 hours day and 12 hours night. The time or date at which the sun crosses the celestial equ that uh, equator when day and night are equal. That is equinox. On 21st March, the sun is directly overhead on the equator. On 21st March. Yes. March equinox. That is March equinox. On 21st March, directly overhead the, the equator. So, every place on earth has 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. This time, if the sun is, the, the earth is here and 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. That means, on 21st March, every place on earth has 12 hours day and 12 hours night. Okay? On 21st March, every place on the earth has 12 hours day and 12 hours night. This is called the spring or uh, that uh, vernal equ equinox. This is called the spring equinox. Okay. March equinox that is spring equinox. 21st March. And on 23rd September on the opposite side. On 23rd September. 23rd September the sun is overhead on the equator again. The on, on opposite side of the equator. The, that, uh, the earth is here. Listen? Yes, okay. On this day, the northern hemisphere has that autumnal uh, fall equinox. This is autumnal equinox. The northern hemisphere on 23rd September. Okay? And uh, when the southern hemisphere has spring equinox. At that time, the southern hemisphere spring equinox and the northern hemisphere that the autumnal equinox. Okay? Yes. The next, uh, solitis. Northern or southern excursion relative to the celestial equator or the celestial spheres. This is two sun. Yes. Two solitis occurs annually around June 21 and December 21. June 21 and December 21. Two solitis. On 21 June, the sun is overhead to the Tropic of Cancer. On 21 June, that sun is overhead the, to the Tropic of Cancer. This is called the summer solitaries. 21 June, that is called the summer solitaries. June 21, this is, this is, June 21, this is summer solitaries. And what happened to the next opposite side? Sun acts as the area that is maximum during the time of this year. This year, that uh, sun acts ma maximum heat. And hence, we have uh, the longer days. This uh, June 21st, we have uh, the longest day. And uh, shorter nights. On June 21st, longest day and shorter nights. In fact, the areas beyond uh, the Arctic Circle have daylight of 6 months uh, at the time. At this time, what happened? The, the area beyond the Arctic Circle have a daylight of a six months. The reverse happened in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere what happened? And the Southern Hemisphere, the reverse happened. That means that it is winter in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, it is winter. Uh, and uh, here, days are shorter and nights are longer. In the southern hemisphere, it's the days are so shorter and the nights are longer. 
Now let's follow the Earth's orbit. The Earth seems to have reached at the other turning point. The date is December 22nd. This is when the Earth reaches the other end of the orbit. Yes, on 22nd December. The North Pole is facing away from the Sun. This time, the North Pole is facing away from the Sun. This position of Earth is known as winter solitaries. This is 22nd December, winter solitaries. This time, the South Pole is tilted down sir, towards the Sun. The South Pole is tilted towards the Sun. This area is the Tropic of Capricorn. This area is the Tropic of Capricorn, which receives direct sunlight and, and hence uh, in its uh, summer in the southern hemisphere. And this time, uh, that uh, winter uh, that, uh, in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. However, the areas around uh, the equator have 12 hours of day uh, and uh, day uh, throughout uh, the year. Okay? This all are about our chapter, the third chapter, Motions of the Earth. And I think you are following this all. Yes, okay. Read well and study well and take care. See you. Goodbye.